Sajikunanj.com here with Nunzio Campanelli, head coach of the Bergen Catholic Crusaders. We're here at the Garantano uh, commitment ceremony where he selected the Tennessee Vols. Now, how's it going, coach? Going great. Nice, nice. Talk a little bit about um, Jared, uh, some of his strengths uh, that he'll bring to Tennessee. Well, you know, I think the first thing is uh, he has about every talent that you're looking for in a quarterback. He's got size, uh, he can throw it, he's got speed, uh, he's a great athlete, he's tough. Um, he's a smart kid, so I think he brings a lot to the table. I think that uh, they're getting a really dynamic athlete. I think playing in that league, uh, you need that type of player. And at the end of the day, I know it's the kid's choice, but looking at his skill set, Coach, uh, how do you feel he projects uh, into that Tennessee offense? Well, you know, I, I knew Coach Bajakian very well, who was their uh, predecessor. He was a Burton Catholic grad, uh, uh, their, their offensive coordinator, I should, I should say, uh, previous offensive coordinator. I don't really know Coach DeBoer. I assume what Coach Jones does, they'll stay pretty similar. Uh, I think he's probably a good fit, you know. I mean, he's an athletic passer. He's a guy that can pass the ball but can also make great plays with his feet. So I think he fits into that, that mold. And obviously on an annual basis, you guys send kids to Division One A football. But, but talk about what a kid like Jared has meant to your program. Well, you know, I mean, obviously he's been a great player for us and he's going to continue to be going into his senior year. Uh, you know, he's also obviously brought a lot of attention to our program. He's a very high-profile player, and, uh, you know, he's really a great kid. He does things the right way. He's, uh, he's been an asset to our school, and uh, he's been a pleasure to coach. I really look forward to great things he's going to do this year and, uh, you know, in the many years to come. Nice, nice. And talk a little bit about Jared Garantano, the person, coach. Well, I, you know, I think he uh, gave a lot of great insight into who he is today when he talked how much about his family, his friends, his teammates, and, you know, how important all those people are to him. Uh, says a lot about who he is, the way he was raised, and, uh, you know, I was proud to hear him speak like that. And you can kind of see the strain on his face, you know, on James' face, kind of when they mentioned Rutgers and, and their connection there and picking Tennessee over Rutgers. I mean, from, from, from what you know and, and the job that Rutgers has done uh, re recruiting this family, uh, just give me, do you have any insight on, um, you know, how well you think they did with the family? I don't think they could have done better. I mean, they did it uh, first class every step of the way. Uh, I think that... Uh, you know, they, they did everything and anything that they could possibly do to make that a possibility. And uh, But they also did it in a first-class way to not put pressure on them or make them feel like, you know, uh, they, you know they, they just did it the right way. They really did. It was, uh, you know, every step of the way they tried to make it as comfortable for them as possible but still let them know that, you know, he was the guy they wanted. Nice, Coach. And any other uh, guys on your roster? Um that you feel could play at the FBS level. Can you talk about a couple of those guys maybe? Absolutely. Uh, Gene Coleman right now has a couple 1A offers. He has uh, offers right now to Rutgers and Syracuse. And uh, I think that uh, through the spring and through a couple of camps, I think he'll get a bunch more if that's what he, if that's what he wants. He's a fantastic player, uh, great competitor, uh, you know, great athlete, and uh, you know, he's a pleasure to coach. Uh, Sal Morrow right now has three offers. Uh, he's a D-line linebacker, uh, another great player, really hard worker, awesome motor. Uh, you know, he's a little bit of a tweener position-wise, whether he's going to be a D-end or an outside backer, you know, maybe in a 3-4 system, but uh, he's, he's got a chance to be a great player. Um, Manny Appiah's got, uh, you know, a couple offers right now, but uh, I think a ton more to come. I mean, he, he is going to be a fantastic recruit at that level. I mean, he's a long, athletic cornerback that's really dangerous if he gets the ball in his hands as well. Uh, that's really hard to find a cornerback with his length. Uh, Karab is a tight end for us. Uh, he, uh, I think he's a guy that's going to absolutely blow up. He's a 6'3 plus tight end with a great frame, a great competitor, really physical kid. Uh, so I think all of those guys have a chance this year to do great things. I think Frank Feaster uh, is a fullback, middle linebacker type, has a chance to really uh, definitely play at the 1AA level and possibly even at the 1A level. He's getting recruited by a few schools. He's uh, as good as any football player we have. So I think we got a bunch of guys in the senior class that have a chance. And it's not too often you get asked about eighth graders actually moving, uh, you know, to the high school level. But obviously, you guys are, are picking up Josh McKenzie, one of the top players throughout the country as far as youth youth football is concerned. Uh, can you talk a little bit about um, the excitement of uh, you know adding uh, additional talent to your roster? Well, I, you know, uh, like you said, it's a, it's an unusual circumstance, but he is a really talented kid. Uh, he's a fantastic kid. Uh, I think he'll be an asset to our football program and our wrestling program the second he gets here. Um, I mean, I, you know, obviously he does some dynamic things. That's why it's made such a, you know, such a big splash. But, uh, you know, we'll do everything we can to make that transition as easy for him as possible. You know, it, it, this is a really difficult league, and, you know, we're not going to put too, too great expectations on him as he's ready to, to compete, perform. You know, we'll give him those opportunities. I, I know he'll be a great player here, and, uh, you know, we really look forward to getting the opportunity to coach him. Well, congratulations, Coach. I appreciate your time. This is Todrick Hunt, NJ.com, signing off.